Hey, welcome back to The Past is Alive and another episode of Turn Back the Clock Tuesday. Tonight we're heading back to 1995. Again, I want to say this is our third attempt at this. We uh, tried with previous uh, jumbo packs and then with foil packs. And now we are trying for the Vladdy Guerrero rookie card in the pretty rare rack packs. You never really come across these anymore. Uh, try checking eBay for Bowman rack packs from 95. You won't find any. So they're pretty tough to track down. We have 10 here. 10 was actually um, all that came in a box back in 95. Um, so we have a full box of rack packs here, 15 cards per pack, and we're looking for the Vladdy Guerrero rookie along with Andrew Jones, Scott Rowland, Bobby Abreu, Bartolo Colon, Hideo Nomo, Chris Carpenter. The list goes on. There's a lot of them. And we also have 54 foil cards uh, that are a subset in this uh, set and they also all come in gold parallel. So hopefully we can find like maybe a Derek Jeter gold. I think last time we found a Nomar Garcia Parr gold and maybe even a Nomo. So we're opening these tonight. We have five spots in this box. We have TX Breaks leading off here. Chris R, number two. Lewis, number three. Frank the Tank, 84, four. And Joseph Baumgarten, five. Dan Schultz, Dirk, everybody else, thank you for being here. Um, appreciate you guys always being here for your support. We'll start off with TX breaks, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these like we do with the 92 Bowman break, and we're going to shuffle them all up. Kind of more, a little more difficult to shuffle up um, <clears throat> rack packs, but we will still get it done nonetheless. Ripping for Ripkins, my buddy, is here. And there's Jonathan H. Andin. This is back when Bartolo wasn't big sexy. Jonathan H., good to see you, man. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, I actually just bought that Bartolo Colon uh, rookie card. I didn't have it. I got it, I think, for like 50 cents or somewhere along those lines, actually, like a week or two ago. And I want to say we pulled that out of the the last 95 bone break, but we did not find the Vladimir Guerrero. So hopefully tonight's the night. We had pretty good luck with um, the Mariano Rivera out of 92 Bowman. So... Take two packs at random out for TX Breaks. Rob, hey, Elias, what's happening, man? Thank you for joining us. I'm going to see if these will do a clean rip down the back, but I don't know why they made their rack packs only with 15 cards. Kind of meager. You got to put a little more in there and beef them up a little bit. Let's see if we can do this without damaging the corners, but it might be a little more difficult. I may just cut into these. I got these uh, kind of like garbage bag plastic being used here. I don't want to damage the corners. <laughs> Joe, Joe Baumgarten says something about Ron Jeremy being arrested. I did read about that actually like a, an hour ago. I saw that in the news. Pretty crazy. All right. So eventually we'll be able to get these open. Hopefully without damaging anything inside. All that work for 15 cards. Dave Ems says, can I bid on these too? That would be cool, huh? I picked these up for just shy of about 100 bucks. Um, not too long ago on eBay. I had to get them. Thought it was a great deal. Because like I said, they don't pop very often. So the first rack pack after all that effort uh, for TX Breaks. Definitely check his YouTube channel out. Also, John Mabry leading off here. So looking for the Vladdy Guerrero, Freddy Garcia... Mendy Lopez, uh, that was Vladdy for a second there. I saw the Expos logo. Matt Raleigh, Antonio Osuna, James Baldwin. Luckily, these aren't stuck together. Sometimes 95 Bowman has a way of doing that. Ryan Hilden says he's there sending him to 90 years in jail. I did see that too. Felix Rodriguez, Homer Bush. It looks a lot like Derek Lee's 94 Bowman rookie card. Corey, thank you for posting a link to Jonathan H. Channel. Scott Stahoviak, Dante Bichette. And here's our first uh, nice one here, Mike Piazza. Nice Mike there. Antonio I don't want a cringe name. Dave Shaw says, how have I never seen these? I don't know, man. These are one of my. This is one of my favorite sets. I'm a huge sucker and fan of 90s Bowman. Ramon Martinez. Andy Pettit. Could it be a gold card? Dwayne Singleton and Andy Pettit. That's a nice one, though. Very early on in his career. His rookie card is actually 93 Bowman, but out of the 54-card subset for foil, I would say Andy Pettit is definitely a nice name. First pack in the books for TX Breaks. Paul, do you say that about a lot of sets, John? 
<laughs> I definitely do. Chris says, how much do a full box of these go for? I couldn't tell you how much a box of rack packs go for. Generally a foil box, so 36 count box of these sells for about 150. They might be a little more now, 150 bucks. And um, those are 10 card packs. Joe's card crew, what's happening, man? These, yeah, these wrappers are awful. I almost didn't want to open these because, like I said, they're very hard to come by. It's like a germane die there. I gotta, I gotta cut these. They're too difficult to open. I don't want to be responsible for destroying somebody's potential uh, nicely crisp. PSA 10, Vladdy. Hopefully there's one in here. <laughs> Paul, also, are these worse than the trash bag score packs? These definitely are, man. These are by far worse. They are a lot worse, man. Because this corner is just, uh, just want to get stuck constantly. Okay, our final pack. Thanks for bearing with me um, through that. Leading off, Kilby Overis, Mark Ferris. You remember that guy, Joe? Because I don't remember him too much. Torrey Hunter, the second year card for him. I still like him a lot back in the 90s. Tommy Davis, Garo Alfonso, Jermaine Dye, second year card for him too. Something sticky here a little bit. Chris Snowpack, name I haven't heard in a long time. Torrey Percival, his rookie card is actually 92 Bowman. TX Breaks is in here. Enrique Wilson, Jason Giambi, Sheffield, Tim Raines. We have a checklist and one mellow. And look at that. Back to back gold cards. Paul Canerco is definitely a nice one. His, um, that's actually his first Bowman card. His rookie card is actually 94 tops traded. But that's his first Bowman, and that's pretty sweet. Juan Mello, if you have any idea who Juan Mello is, I don't remember that name. Many of you Padres fans remember him, but wow, that's a pretty sweet Paul Canerco gold, though. Very, very nice. I think these are supposed to be like two in every four packs or something like that. But <clears throat> definitely a nice one there. Best cards of those two packs, definitely the Piazza, the Andy Pettit foil, and then the Canerco gold. Very, very nice. No sign of any of our rookies yet. And we're going to move on to Chris R. PTB Chris. <laughs> Beltron, his rookie is actually 97. We pulled that, oh, what was that, a month ago or so? There's TX Breaks. It's nice cards, John. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Thank you for being here. And, uh,. Please check out TX Breaks channel. Corey, please post a link to TX Breaks. He's got just shy of 100 subs. He hasn't posted a video about a week, though, but uh, he was ripping a lot of older, cool stuff like this. Jeez, these freaking packs are awful. What were they thinking? If you're like a joyous little kid just trying to find your Krim Garcia rookie card in here, and you got to go through all that. Just to find Karim Garcia or Ruben Rivera. It doesn't seem very fair. Now, Beltron is in Series 1 and 97 Bowman. Our, oh, look at that! Chris R. right on top of the pack. Vladdy Guerrero, rookie. We finally found the rookie card of Vladdy Guerrero. That is freaking awesome. Jeez, I was not expecting that on top of the rack pack. Holy crap. Very, very nice. Usually you can get this card raw for around 20, 25 bucks. PSA 10s, um, 100 bucks plus. Wow. Chris R. Chris Ramirez. You got the Vladdy. Congrats, man. And I have a one touch here. Dave Emerson, that's an iconic card. Always wanted it. Definitely is, man. We'll put this in a one touch for safekeeping for you. Wow. Freaking third pack in. Pretty awesome. Very, very awesome. Lewis says, I hope there's more. There very well could be. Boom. Third pack in. What are the odds? Wow. Ted G, what's happening, man? So the card we were chasing after shows up in the third pack. 
Let's see if we can find some more of these rookies now. Mark Croon. Jay's openings is Vladdy Daddy, Curtis Goodwin, Bill Selby, Sean Whiteside. There's a Mike Mussina. I don't know if Corey needs that one or not. He PCs him. Paul Mulder. Let's put that in the background. We don't want to take that off screen yet. That's beautiful. Love that card. I actually pulled that out of a pack whenever I was a little kid and whenever we moved. I had it in a box somewhere along with um, my Jeter 93 SP and a bunch of other ones, and it went missing. I don't know whatever happened to it. Ray Brown, foil card. Jay Payton, he definitely had some hype to him back in 95. That card was worth a few bucks. Sean Sr., Chris Carpenter, rookie. Pretty awesome. Another nice one we were searching for. Very, very cool. We pulled that out of the last box, too. But Chris Carpenter and Vladdy Guerrero. Some good luck here, Chris, on your very first pack. CJ Natowski and Doug Glanville. Whoa. Red light. Thank you, man. Appreciate the support. Paul says, I, lo I low-key like Jay Payton. Not sure why. I definitely did, too. Brian Z says, Eric stole your cards. I don't know what happened with that box that I had, but I had a box full of my best cards. It had, like, Paul Mulder rookie card and Derek Jeter 93 SP and Vladdy Guerrero 95 Bowman and everything else, and we moved, and that was the only box that went missing. I don't know whatever happened to it, but I was... Pretty bummed whenever I found out years later. At the time, I didn't really think too much of it because I didn't go back to my cards for, like, years. But whenever I started collecting rookies again and got back into the hobby, like, five years ago, I was pretty bummed out because I could not find it. So that kind of sucks. So uh, that's kind of what kick-started me into going back and buying all, my old, all these old rookie cards that I never owned and the ones that I used to own. Chris, I've only been in two breaks ever and have hit both times. You definitely have some good luck, man. <laughs> Joe's card curl says, or your dad stole it. <laughs> Keith Williams leading off Jason Schmidt. I always liked that card. How pissed off he looks in that. His rookie card is actually 94 tops traded. I bought it on eBay like for a buck not too long ago. Ryan Nye. Rick Heisman. Jeremy Kendall. Mike Hampton. A little bit of stickiness here. What do we have? Of course, is sure I get a Motor Vera rookie and can't get a one-touch laugh out loud Vladdy has it in five seconds? That's because I'm a little more organized today, Corey. Richard Hidalgo, Clay Carruthers, Katie Gasper, Brian Buchanan, Kenny Rogers. Ooh, Aaron Seeley, I would have been pumped on that one. I like this as I know a lot, how they have that like uh, mirror image of them in green on the side. It's pretty sweet. I always like these ones. John Lieber. Why was he pissed? That was before he was traded to the Pirates. Yeah, I know, right? And then two full cards. You're going to see a lot of guys in here that didn't really pan out or just didn't really do much. Scott Alerton and Mark Valdez, part of the 54 card subset. A lot of dudes in there. Jeter's got a foil card. Nomar has one. Scott Rowland's rookie is foil. And uh, Hideo Nomos is also foil. So maybe we'll see a gold. And that ends... Those two packs are Chris. Congrats, man. You got the Carpenter and the Vladdy Guerrero rookie. That's freaking awesome seeing that. Let's hope for some more. We got two more up, and we got Elias, a.k.a. Lewis, up next. There's Criterion Racer. Thanks a lot, man. Good to see you. Appreciate you always being here, Lee. Let's see what we can get out of the next two. Hey, Parker, what's happening? Elias says, I'm next. Yeah, you're up right now, man. Just trying to be careful here. I don't crease anything with these trash bag wrappers. Did a pretty good job with uh, the last one, though. Vladdy had no uh, bum corners on it. Matt Apon Apana. I don't remember that dude. All right. That was a little more... Um, <clears throat> Organized there. Mark Thompson leading off. Theft protection wrappers. Arm says they definitely serve as that. Gerald Wittesick Jr. Craig Wilson. Good luck to you, Elias. You actually got a bunch of stuff in the auction last night, so be sending it all together. Hopefully tomorrow with your break. Matt Aponia. Don't remember him whatsoever. Chris Wimmer. Name I haven't said in a very long time. Mark Loretta. Esteban Loiza. He was actually doing hard time for. Um, Selling drugs, cocaine specifically. I think he's doing like 25 years in, in jail for that. PTB Chris, that was awesome. Thanks for the great breaks, man. Chris, thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. You definitely seem to have some luck. K 
Kevin Jarvis, Keith Cumberland, Joey Hamilton, Primetime, Deion Sanders, Canseco. It's a nice shot of him. And Mark Grudz and Lonick. I always hated this card. I don't know why. I think it's something with his, his uh, fro. And then uh, Doug Million or Million, however you pronounce his name. I don't remember him too much. Not too bad of a pack. And Seiko, Deion Sanders. No rookies we're looking for, though. And we're going to go on to um, the next one here. Lewis, I did get your payment. Thank you for that, man. There's only, I believe there's only one payment that I haven't received yet. So for the auction, that's not too bad. Actually, two. That's not too bad. Um, so I want to do auctions. I want to do another one tomorrow or Thursday. We will do some more. And then we're going to do a, a more current or modern one next week. And uh, anything that doesn't sell off or anything that's not paid for by the next one will sell uh, during the auction tomorrow or Thursday. All right, second pack here. Let's see what we got. Kamara Barti leading off. Let me get caught up on some of these comments here. I missed some. I'm trying to rip those on. Boom Slang's here. It says, these are some beautiful cards. Never saw these. Mickey, thank you very much, man. Boom Slang just hit 800 subs yesterday. I think he's at 808 now. I looked before the stream. So if you're not subbed to Mickey, please check him out. Give him a sub and show him some love. Same thing with Craig B. That says, have we pulled any Bill Van Landinghams yet? I sent my auction payment. Craig, thanks a lot, man. Really appreciate that and for you being here. Craig B., excellent dude. Uh, he just posted a video today. He posts a lot of videos frequently, but I think he's taking a break for a few days. So, Corey, please uh, link the channels for Craig and Boomslang both. Both great guys. Jimmy Hurst, Melvin uh, Brian Ricard, I don't remember him either. Brian Taylor, I think we all remember him. His story is kind of tragic. Whoa, look at that. Ender Jones, rookie card. Very nice. The second, or actually third key rookie we were chasing after shows up. Lewis, you got the Andrew Jones rookie. I love this card. This was pretty valuable back in the 90s. And, I mean, it still definitely has some value to it. And this is a pretty sharp-looking one, too. I would say it's a little bit off as far as centering goes, but um, very, very sharp corners. Very nice surface on this one. Andrew Jones' rookie card. I love that one. That was also one I had in my good rookie box back in the day that disappeared, and I ended up buying it back. I want to say at the National several years ago. Frank of Texas, did I miss my turn? You did not, man. You are coming up. Um, I, I'm doing these in order of how you guys claim them. Tate Seafried actually pulled his autograph out of a Fairfield box, and I was really bummed out about it. It was like some Topps mini card from the 90s that I never, ever saw or heard of. I was like, Tate Seafried, I don't want that. <laughs> David Justice. Yeah, Frank the Tank, you're up next, actually. Sean Green. And Ben Grieve for Joe's Card Corral. He would have loved that back in 95. Sean Green is definitely off-center there, but um, he was definitely a solid player. There's a, I feel like there's quite a few people at PC, Sean Green. I would say that uh, it was a pretty good two packs there. That Andrew Jones definitely saved it, Lewis. That is a beautiful-looking card. Cobra says, love the Jones boys, Chipper and Andrew. JT, what's happening? Need your 90 tops fix. I hope that I can help you out with that problem soon because I need my 90 tops fix too. I was looking at boxes today and they just keep going up. It sucks. <laughs> RMM, that's hilarious. And I hated them for it too. Frank the Tank, 84. J Bugs has just got my Sandberg TTM today. So hyped. Let me ask you a question, J Bug. Did you, when you got it back, was it all creased up and everything else? Because from what I've heard, people at TTM, Rhino, if you send in a top loader, he'll send it back not in the top loader, and it's all banged up. Had that, I've seen that happen like several times. Junk Wax Era Card says, good luck, Frank. Let's cut these. They're being way too difficult. Even when you cut them, they're still a little difficult, but not as bad. Ricky Metallico leading off here. 
<laughs> DX breaks. Paul Wilson. We were actually just, talk just talking about him. I think me and Corey were. Generation K. Didn't really live up to the hype that it originally had. All right. Now that that task is over with. Frank and Tank, good luck to you, man. These will be shipped out with your uh, stuff that you got from the auction tomorrow, too. Kevin Brown leading off. Travis Miller. Chris Weinke. So far, we've done pretty damn good in all these stacks. Let's try to keep it going. John Ambrose. Paul Wilson. Another hot one back then was Ray Ordonez. I was pumped about him, too. Max Suzuki. Amari Telemaco. Jay Canizaro. Matt Smith. Metallico, Todd, Zeal. Let's see if we can save it with some foil cards. Dustin Hermanson and Mark Newfield. Nothing too great in the first pack for Frank. He actually might like Dustin Hermanson, though. I haven't heard that name in quite a while. On to the second one. We'll cut this one real quick. Hopefully we can find you another Vladdy. Or um, Scott Roll would be a nice one, too. Thanks, JT. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate all you guys for joining us every Tuesday. I love doing this series. Because if I didn't do this series, then I wouldn't be buying all these boxes and opening them. So, that's the main reason why I like doing this. It gives me a chance to go and buy all kinds of product and stuff like that that I wouldn't normally buy. For the most part, and also open a lot of different like, boxes that I have never even seen before. We've definitely done quite a few. Speaking of that, next week we're doing... 2007 Fleer. I've never opened a pack of those. Never even seen those cards. But 07 Fleer will be a cheaper break because I got the box for cheap. And um, Bobby Abreu, rookie. Nice. Definitely another one we're looking for. Let's see if I can salvage it out of this freaking crap wrapper. But a um, bunch of autos in there. A lot of inserts. So looking forward to seeing those for the first time. Last pack here for Frank and Tank. Bobby Abreu is a nice surprise coming up. Let's see what else we can find in here. John Carter looks very bored. Bart Evans, Marquis Riley. There's the Bobby Abreu. I love that card. Worth a few bucks. You can usually get that for a couple bucks nowadays, but I always liked Bobby. Definitely a solid ball player. Not sure if you have that one or not, but nice rookie for the PC. Kevin Jarvis, Chris Cumberland, Damian Moss. Scott Sullivan, Benji Gill. I don't really know if any of us really cared for him that much. Lofton, Kevin Apier, Chanho Park. Second year card. And Dwayne Hosey and Johnny Damon. That Damon's nice. I like that one. His rookie card is actually 93 SP. So I would say the best card we got out of there, obviously the Bobby Abreu rookie card. Is a nice one. So that's Frank the Tank. Definitely check him out. Give him a sub. Frank the Tank 84 on YouTube. And that takes us to Joe B. The very last two packs. No problem, Frank. I'll send those out hopefully tomorrow to you. Try to throw in some extras for you as well. I don't know why I'm trying to try these again. These things suck. Not even worth attempting. <laughs> these are just, I hate how difficult they make these to open. This will be the last time that I ever open 95 Bowman Rack Packs. Probably the last time we ever do 95 Bowman on this channel, at least for a very long time. Um, I don't know what is in store for the future, but I'd like to do a mixer break sometime soon. I have a few boxes, a few blasters, I should say. Um, and there's some nice ones, too. Just picked up one. A few days ago, it's 2003 Leaf. It has some decent rookies in there. All right, finally, the first pack is down. Joe Baumgarten, you're up, man. I, um... Corey says, I messaged a guy who didn't pay yet, and he disappeared. I'm thinking you will have to re-auction those cards next week. That sucks, man. We do have, uh, we do have one guy that won... Like $150 worth of stuff last night in the auction. And uh, 
he has not paid. So please don't be that guy because that will discourage me from doing auctions ever again. Um, if you can't pay for it, if you need extra time, just tell me and say, hey, can you wait for a week or whatever and I'll pay you then? I'm very, very easy going, I promise. But yeah, we'll have to, if he doesn't uh, end up paying, we'll have to just auction them off again. Troy Percival. So good luck to you, Joe. Enrique Wilson, Jason Giambi. Looks like some of these same coalition we saw before. Doug O'Shea. Okay, cool. Yeah, if he would just let me know, that would be a lot easier. John Hudek. <laughs> John Hudek, second year card. Oh, man. Let's find a good foil card for Joe. Come on. Two golds, Todd Hollinsworth and Brad Woodall. Wish I could have found you a Jeter or a Scott Rowan gold, but not that lucky in that pack. Joe Yankee says no. All right. Last one. Paul L says, I am now satisfied. He was waiting for that who deck for a while. I know it. Let's see if we can find you something else. This will be a pretty short break tonight. Only 10 of these packs. So, But I'm going to try to do a video every day this week. Actually, more than likely, I will be doing that. Like tomorrow, we'll either do an auction or we'll rip something old. A bunch of older boxes, like 92 score series 2, looking for like the autographs. And obviously, 91 series 2, looking for Manto autograph. So we're going to rip those, and then we'll do an auction. And then we'll have the Jam Packs box coming up. So actually, tomorrow night will probably be live for the Jam Pack box. If you guys want me to be live, if not, I'll just make the standard video. It's up to you. I have more fun ripping those packs with you live. Dave M says, when's the G.I. Joe and 95 score videos? G.I. Joe video, you know, I thought about making that one again today. 95 score I can make a video about that day, but I would literally ruin every single one of the cards. Like I open, I open like two or three packs of those, and they were bricked up so bad to the point where I had to throw them away. The paper loss was absolutely severe. I've never seen it that bad before, except with '93 upper deck, which is not a notorious one for bricking up. So as soon as I can figure out how to solve the age-old conundrum of bricked up cards, I mean, some of them come apart easier use a hairdryer and stuff like that but 93 upper deck and 95 score are probably the worst of the worst more than likely final pack here for joe b let's find something nice marcus jensen david bell mike hubbard rich all day i, know, I think joe used to hate him dave m says deep fry him robert person john mabry JT says, I know how to fix the cards. John, make the judge. Over to you. I'll trade you. You Give me your knowledge. Damn it, I thought that was Vladimir Guerrero. Freddy Garcia. Everett Stoll. Jim Pitsley. Ugeth Urbina. Come on, let's find something nice in here. Give us a rookie. Come on, Juan Gonzalez. Jeff Airtime says, does the hairdryer trick really work? It definitely does with some of them. I've had it work with like 96 Pinnacle. Yeah, I've tried, like, steaming them. I've tried so much. John Lieber again. And the last two cards of tonight's break. Gold cards again. Ah, oh, Joe, I'm sorry, man. Sergio Nunez and Jamie Bluma. I'm sure you could have did without seeing those um, tonight. I wish we would have. Gold cards, back-to-back -back gold cards. W Grim 88 says, could do 40 Grim Reaper packs for a break. That would be pretty awesome, man. I am not would not be opposed to that at all. If uh, people would be willing to do that, then I'm down. It seems like the feedback we got from the Grim Packs is pretty awesome. And there's some, definitely some good cards in there. So it's a possibility. I don't know, I don't know about 40, but <laughs> maybe a few. That's all I have for you tonight, man, uh, in this break. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, uh, those packs are really hard to find. So if you can somehow track down 95 bone rack packs for... Less than 15 bucks a piece. I would definitely buy them because well, we definitely pulled some good cards tonight. Three or four good rookies. Bobby Abreu, Vladdy Guerrero, Chris Carpenter, and um, Andrew Jones. So not too bad for only 10 packs and 15 cards per pack. But pretty epic. Here is the last look at the Vladdy before we part ways. Um, very, very nice card. Like I said, if you want to pick yourself up one of these... You usually get this card for about 20 25 bucks raw on eBay. But be careful because I bought one on eBay for around 20 bucks. 
a year ago and like the corner or one of the two of the corners was pretty iffy and I was kind of regretting it. So PSA ones will cost you, PSA tens will cost you over a hundred bucks around there. So it is a little bit off center, but still a beautiful card nonetheless. But that's all I have for you guys tonight. Tomorrow night, we will be back. I saw somebody say that you want to see this live tomorrow. So uh, let's do it live. It's more fun opening packs with your friends, I think. So we'll do the um, June edition of Jam Packs tomorrow night and see what Hall of Fame autograph we can pull out of there and see what the pack assortment is. So we'll do that 8.30 tomorrow night. Hopefully see you guys then. Thank you guys for watching tonight. I appreciate it. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great night, you guys.